Hello friends, today we will study Palynology that is a branch of botany in which we study about the pollen grains and uh, different spores. Since this topic is somewhat lengthy, so I try to cover it in uh, 3 to 4 lectures. So we will study uh, this Palynology uh, one by one uh, in different lectures. In the first lecture, I would like to uh, try to understand what is palynology, what is basic palynology, and what are the different uh, uh, other branches of this palynology. The study of pollen grain spores their structure and function is called as palynology. It deals with walls of pollen grains and spores and this term was uh, coined by Hyde and William for the study of this palynology. First of all, we will like to understand what are the pollen grains and spores. Pollen grains are uh, formed by uh, higher plants. It is male gametophyte of higher plants, and the spores are actually formed by the uh, mostly lower plants such as fungi, algae, bryophyte, and pteridophyte. So, uh, in palynology, we study about pollen grains and spores. For the study of this palynology, we have categorized this uh, study in two categories that is first one the fundamental or basic palynology and second one is applied palynology. In basic palynology, we uh, study the cytology genetics, morphology, anatomy, chemistry, biochemistry and other things of the pollen grains and spores and also we study the, how the pollen grains are formed, how they are distributed, that is the uh, process of pollination, uh, germination of the pollen grains and its interaction with the stigma and how they fertilize uh, to the egg nucleus. In applied palynology, uh, we study the modern aspect of this palynology. In this division, uh, we study paleo, palynotaxonomy, plant breeding, pollen physiology, pollen allergy, biochemistry, genetic engineering, nutrition, geo or petroleum exploration and also it includes uh, many other branches such as melisopalynology that is uh, also called as melitopalynology uh, that uh, is study of palynology in uh, honey aeropalynology that is study of uh, palynology with respect to air paleopalynology uh, that is uh, a study of palynology with respect to our primitive uh, environment of the earth and the pharmacopalynology that is the application of palynology in uh, medical science copropalynology that is the study of pollen grains uh, with respect to dungs of different uh, animals then forensic palynology uh, that is application of palynology in forensic science uh, that is uh, solving the mysteries of uh, uh, in uh, criminology. Also, the allergy palynology that is application of uh, this palynology to study the allergy process of allergy. That is next one is palynology in nutrition means uh, some of the uh, pollen grains are uh, have nutritive value. Uh, so, in this uh, palynology, we study 
the nutritious value of the pollen grain paleology in paleoecology and climate change so uh, this uh, paleology plays a great role for the study of paleoecology and how the climate was changed from the uh, formation of earth to the present day earth now <coughs> uh, we will study the basic paleology in some detail uh, it includes the morphology of pollen grain that is in this we study external morphology of the pollen grain or its spore the external morphology includes shape size pollen units polarity similarity different type of apertures and sporoderm stratification now uh, first thing that we will study that is the pollen units what are the pollen units uh, as we know that uh, pollen grains are formed as a result of meiotic division that is a reductional division uh, and as a result of this meiotic division a single diploid cell undergoes meiosis and four haploid cells are formed that is in the form of tetrad and uh, after that these uh, tetrads get detached from each other or each spore or cell is get detached from each other and it functions as independent pollen grain sometime after the meiotic division uh, wall is formed and other time uh, the wall is formed after the completion of uh, this uh, meiotic division so there is a two pattern of wall formation or uh, in tetrads that is successive type and simultaneous type in successive type in successive type uh, of wall formation the meiotic division is followed by wall formation which results into dyads the second meiotic division is also followed by wall formation resulting into four cell this type of division is very common in monocots that is shown in this diagram that is single cell that is undergoing meiotic division the first division is followed by wall formation that is after the completion of first division meiotic division there is um, formation of wall then again the second uh, meiotic division occurs that is mitotic division and that is also followed by formation of this wall so there are four spores are formed uh, with their independent wall in simultaneous type of wall formation the first meiotic division is not followed by wall formation the wall formation occurs after completion of second meiotic division so uh, we can see in this diagram that uh, this uh, cell is undergoing meiotic division first division is occurring two cells are uh, two nucleus are formed and after that uh, second meiotic division again as a result of that four nucleus are formed and after formation of the four nucleus wall is laid down so uh, in this way four uh, spores are or four pollen grains are formed 